Is Google search outdated for software testers or automation testers? Yes, we are going to find out the answer of this question in this particular video. And if you are still using Google search, then by the end of this video, you are going to understand how generative AI is changing the landscape of AI and why it is very, very important nowadays to learn chat GPT, Gemini or using BART kind of tools in this era where AI is expanding a lot and without AI, you cannot do anything or you are going to be left behind. And we are also going to talk about one very important update of chat GPT, which is chat GPT search, which is challenging Google search in internet. Okay. So we are going to find out answer of all these questions. So without any delay, let's start the video. Okay. So let's start with the update which has sparked the discussion on internet which is related to chat gpt search so recently chat gpt has unveiled one search on internet feature through which chat gpt will now be able to search on the internet and will find out real time results from internet directly so whenever you are giving any question to chat gpt before uh, this feature there was no option to search on the internet so basically what chat gpt has learned so far from that information itself it, it was going to give you the results but now after this feature it is going to give you results by looking into the internet so that is the whole update about this so let's see on the screen how you can use this chat gpt search feature Okay, fine. So now we are on the screen and here, if you see, this is the chat GPT screen. So here, if you see, uh, this is the chat GPT screen and over here, this, uh, option is here. You see, uh, this is globe. So once you click on this, it is going to allow you to search on the internet and whatever details you wanted to search on the internet, whatever question you wanted to search on the uh, internet it is going to find you uh, the results so let's suppose we wanted to uh, find out results for one of the tool which i have covered in my previous videos where i was covering the ai tools related to software testing so if you haven't watched that video you can go and watch that as well after this video so testing versus let's suppose we wanted to just do a comparison test rigor and uh, um so testing versus test trigger so i wanted to know which tool is best for testers okay so let's suppose i just gave this question and press enter and you see over here it has searched all over the web and through this uh, reference it has given the this answer right so now if you see just go inside and when evaluating um, it has given me the uh, all the results so testing is known for user friendly interface and record and playback test trigger on the other hand emphasizer on the codeless approach by allowing test creation and plan so basically key consideration if you see ease of use test triggers plan to so all of these things ease of use maintenance flexibility platform search support so basically all things it has given and if you see at the bottom it has also attached the sources from where it fetched all these information and has given you the results so now if i click on sources you see it has given uh, this particular test trigger um, things and it has so many uh, different different uh, things uh, different different basically results uh, from the web through which it has given us the results so now if you see here uh, we can go directly from here to those uh, sources and look for this so if you see here this source forge this is very nice right uh, this through this you can compare any of the websites also so test team test trigger what is here what is not uh, sas based this test team is sas based and web and both of them are sas based and web uh, windows is not available mac is not available like linux uh, linux it supports all of them so basically this particular website so here also you can go and check what is difference in all of this so basically it has given all the sources from where it has given us this results now let's come back on the uh, google search how uh, google search is gonna give us the answer google
okay so let's suppose i am just going to print the same question test him okay fine so see this has given us some uh so basically how google works it is based on the uh, indexing so whichever um, based on the seo and keywords are given in the website that uh, that particular website is going to rank first so that's what how uh, google works so if even if that website don't have enough uh, good uh, information but they have used a good seo then also google ranks that particular website so you can see over here it basically gives us uh, you know uh, all different uh, sources from where we can go and check out by ourselves but it don't you know gives uh, summary uh, kind of like chat gpt has given okay so test trigger makes it easier to validate uh, any kind of you so because this is from test trigger only then uh, they won't demean themselves they will always tell that they are best right so but my whole intention was to just to let you know that uh, how chat gpt search is working now the next question is how can we use or you can use this particular feature in your chat gpt and you are working with chat gpt but if you don't see that then also uh, how you can get that okay so now let's see if you are able to use this chat gpt search or not so right now i have paid plan so that's why i am able to see this chat gpt search feature in here but if you don't have paid plan so you can get this here if you see chat gpt search is available to all chat gpt plus and team users so right now it is available for plus and team users as well as chat uh, search gpt waitlist user so whosoever has applied for this search gpt will be able to access this but it is going to be available for educational enterprises in the coming weeks and then it is also going to roll out for free to all the users in coming months so recently they are also going to reveal this feature for all uh, free users also so don't worry about that just wait for a couple of uh, maybe weeks or maybe one or two months it is also going to be available to you so that was all in this particular video so i thought of giving you one quick update because it is going to be huge chat gpt is also you know in introducing all those features which is google already have and chat gpt is already ahead of market in ai space so chat gpt is going to bring a lot of things if you haven't started learning ai tools or chat gpt and for this you must understand what is prompt and prompt engineering is the best thing uh, to talk with ai so if you haven't started learning and exploring then definitely you can go ahead and learn that and if you want me to create videos on prompt engineering and how we can do interact with chat gpt or there are different ways to interact with chat gpt it is not only how ui looks like so just let me know in the comment box and comment chat gpt in the comment box i uh, am going to create videos on that also and i am also going to create videos on prompt engineering how you can create a website or something i mean use cases related to automation testing itself we are going to cover in the upcoming videos but for that you have to comment in the comment box please share this video to others as well and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe and let me know in the comment box what your thoughts on all this thank you and see you in the next one